Welcome back to the second episode in the LDR engagement series. Bam, bam, bam. Yo, I love making that noise way too much, but you know what? It's all right. If you're new here, I am Jasmine. I have been in a long distance relationship for three and a half years and just closed the gap distance, whatever you want to call it, in October of 2020. Yes, during a global pandemic, we get a little, we get a little crazy around here. Boy. So, talking about the financial aspects of engagement and closing the distance. So this whole series is really based around being open and honest with your partner. And that open and honesty even reflects like when you want to talk about engagement. Um, In the previous video, um, I mentioned that at first, Thomas was really hesitant for the engagement because of his cultural differences and because of the financial reason. So, um, in Finland, Thomas, uh, is a university student and he does get like a stipend, a grant. I don't even know like what the word would be in English, but he gets money every month from the government to help him like live as a student here. I wish I did that in the U S but that was a different conversation for another day. So, you know, I knew that that was his income and the idea of like having me come to Finland when that was his income was terrifying to him. And I I don't blame him. Like I, if I was getting that amount of money every month, I couldn't take care of two people. So when we started talking about engagement, I, we talked about the financial part and when we realized that 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 was the financial part was our only barrier we were like oh that's easy like i have a job i have i'm making money (laughs) like i have a grown 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 ass job so i'm gonna save money like if that's what i need to do to get us to move to the next part of our relationship then that's what i need to do like, I, I don't like this belief that everything should be on just one person. Like, you're in a relationship, y'all are a team. Like, I don't need no one to take care of me. I can take care of myself. So when it comes to talking about that financial aspect of closing the distance, like, look at what y'all both can do for each other to get engaged and close the distance. Um, because, like... I, and I pair these two ideas together, engagement and closing the distance, because that is the end goal, right? We would not, I mean, I I don't see the under, uh, no. I don't see the reason why you would get engaged if you're not also ready to take that next step towards closing the distance and getting married and starting those next, phases of your lives together. Some other financial conversations you're going to have to have is how big do you want the wedding to be? The ring. Like, the ring does not need to be overly expensive. A ring is just a symbol of your love for each other. Like, if you're already having to save up so much money to close the distance, it doesn't make sense to spend an outrageous amount on your ring. I mentioned this in the main video for the series that um, the ring that Twans got me, um, he kind of got me the base of it. So he ordered a ring online um, and we picked it out together because because I know what I like and he knows what he can afford. So we looked online, we got a base for it. Uh, He mailed it to, he got it mailed to Finland because it was a US company. Um, And, you know, the reason why we also did the cheaper ring option was because of customs. Like, you know, if you try to mail someone the ring, they're gonna have to pay so much money to customs to get the ring and it's not worth it. And that's a whole other topic for another day, but, So some other financial aspects of 
getting engaged would mean that, you know, you would have to talk about how you would do your meetups from that point on. Like, um, Twalls and I had originally planned to just have one more meetup in between the engagement and closing the distance. And even during that one meetup, we were going to just like focus on doing stuff for the wedding. So I was planning on, or at that point I was already saving money for that part of the wedding that like, you know, because again, that's that financial aspect of like, how much do I need to budget for the wedding? How much do I need to budget for a meetup? How much do I need to budget for closing the distance? Those are all the things y'all have to talk about. So, um, but you know, because of 2020 and COVID, um, our meetup got canceled, but it was a blessing in that same time because then it was extra money that I was able to save for closing the distance. So like really when you are talking about the financial aspects of engagement, you need to make sure that you're talking about ring cost, wedding cost, the cost of the meetups afterwards and the cost of closing the distance. Once y'all get those four costs down, then it makes the next steps in planning for the engagement a much easier process. So that's it for today in the engagement series. We'll continue this video in the next one. See you there, stay tuned, and I'll see you later.